All right, this was not the March 1st I wanted. I wanted the lamb or thunderstorms like when we used to be a kid. Not this crap. What the heck? It's March 1st. What's up with this? Ah. Yes, we need the air wet water, but I'd rather have it raining and warm. I can remember when I was a kid, we'd have thunderstorms today. Come in like a lion, go out like a lamb. Well, I guess it's coming in like a lion, but I wanted a wet lion. Thunderstorms, rain, hail. Hell, even a tornado would have been nicer than this white crap. At least it would have been warm. <sighs> Jesus, oh Jesus. Whoa. Oh, oh that trucker. Oh, that trucker. <laughs> See that white snow pile there? That guy was coming through town faster than the 35 mile per hour speed limit. He had his brakes locked up. Oh, Jesus. He about took out the snow plow. People check their brains on days like this. 35 and he's going about 45 50 and locked him up I thought, Whoa, that's not good but uh, yeah so we're yeah welcome to March snowy white one yeah yep well the wife's doing a little bit better today uh, still no energy to do anything. Well, of course, I mean, as sick as she was, I wouldn't have any energy to do anything either, so. Yeah. <laughs> Just still thinking about that trucker. I'm like, really? Slow it down. Uh, so, I told her to go out to the farm, take care of the animals, and uh, check on things. Because I tell you, you know, times are getting tough. Thieving's picking up again. People are needing money. Tax, tax returns ain't going. Well, I suppose the ones that are thieving really don't get a tax return because obviously they're not working, but yeah. I'm just running out to the farm, which isn't that far away from where we live. And I don't want to be out here any longer because it's supposed to get worse as the day goes on. My kid and her friends wanted to run off an hour and a half away from home, driving right into the heart of the storm, thinking, oh, it's going to be okay. Yeah, but it's going to be worse. They're, they're calling for it to get worse here after dinner, and it's, it's 10, it looks, it looks like 10, 10 in the morning already, and uh, it's looking like this. Um, we're forecasted in the five inch or more snow area with uh, 15 to 20 mile per hour winds with a minus 25 wind chill. And they want to go run around out in this crap. Yeah. I know, I know I was a kid too, but days like this, I at least had the brains to stay home. But when I was a kid, I mean, you had your cassette player, you'd sit there and try and record music off the radio because you didn't have CDs or you couldn't afford the eight tracks or cassettes so you tried pirating in music off the radio with your mic and every time somebody walked in the room you'd be mad because they just ruined your song <laughs> yeah or you went outside and played in this crap I mean you dug a fort yeah kids today now have no understanding of bad weather and they don't have social, uh, <clears throat> they don't know how to interact when they're in person. Give them a cell phone or a computer, oh, they're just fine. But when they get in person, they don't know how to act. And the first thing is, oh, we're bored, let's run. Yeah. Used to be you go for walks and go to the local park or, but then you got all the sick perverts in the world that's ruined that for everybody because everybody's scared to let their kid go outside because you never know when it's going to be kidnapped or abducted or, yeah. You know, back in the 70s, we thought we had life tough. You know, life is a little easier today, but it's tougher in so many other ways. 
uh, ass. Anyway. So yeah. Uh, I don't think the wife will be going back to work Monday. I, I really don't want her to rush it because... Find out what that pleurisy is. I thought it was an infection in the fluid. Well, our neighbor had that, and she said, No, pleurisy is when your body starts dehydrating and takes the fluid out. And that's when your muscles start rubbing on each other. I'm like, Oh, that makes sense now for her. So, yeah. I'll tell you, if it ain't one thing, it's another. start. I just got thinking where I parked my tractor. I might be screwed. Did kind of on a snowstorm like this coming. But, uh, yeah, it's been a week that since I've gotten anything really accomplished. It's driving me nuts. But, uh, that's why I'm ready for some warm weather. Shut that damn heater off out of the farm, then I can I'll shut all the heaters off. And just <sighs> anyway, we get to the farm here. Uh, we're about a mile away or so, and uh, get the animals taken care of and check out the shop. Or something. All right. Now, yeah, I might. If it, if it ain't doing this too bad right now, I might spend an hour or so out here at the farm. Because it has let up some, but. Here in another couple hours, I got a feeling it's going to turn. So. All right. Oh, I guess it didn't hit the button. All right, that's that red toolbox I got yesterday at the pawn shop. I ran out of paint. Let me change the color of it. And I think I should have wiped down the front of that. The fish hide and everything, but look how much paint's up there in that filter? Wow. But I got that partially covered. I'll have to get some more green paint. But, uh, found a home for that. Got them all lined up over there. So, yeah, I'm just kind of bored, guys. I wish I had more to do. <sighs> and then, okay, I got it. Wipe my hand and I had green green nose and that so fun 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 but anyway well I guess uh, go back to town see what's going on I don't know snow's let up some it looks like it's starting to come back uh, by the way the neighbors busting through looks like going to be some good drifts don't look like it's that bad, but it's blowing. So, all right, well, we'll go to town and see what we can do. Or, uh, otherwise, this might be a short day. So, all righty, talk to you later, or talk to you in a few. I don't know if this is going to show up, but I know this here on the place, but I'm getting some pretty damn good drifts out here. Hopefully, I don't get stuck right here because, uh, that's getting deep. <laughs> well, yeah, I may not be getting the Camaro anytime soon if I do get the motor done. Or that truck. Wheels are getting buried. Car trailer starting to get buried. And so is my lane. I, guess. I don't doubt it's showing up, but it's getting deep out here, boys. I like this automatic four wheel drive. Hey, there you go. Uh, this one's got the auto four wheel and uh, yeah, she's drifting up on the road. So, alright, we're going to head to town. I like my neighbors. They went out in the snow today and went to a town. Our hot water heater hasn't been working right. So I've been lukewarm water. So, I just shut the water off. And oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. I shut this off so it up. 
back during the heating system, so we're going to fix a hot water heater. Now this is our little basement. Hey, it's dry, cool. Right there is eventually where the door is going to be. There's my shovels. Hmm. Cool. But, uh, oh, when that gets drained down, I'll uh, get in there and. Which that's a good sign. Hot water heaters. Well, see, I've got. Uh, Ooh. Holy cow. I got a full house filter right there and that thing really needs to be okay we're gonna go up and find that see if I can get that off okay takes a while to get 50 gallons out of there and it's bottom heater naturally I just unhooked the wires there but uh, did find one of our early see that light there I'm gonna go find me a can of expander foam and fill that. That's probably where the mice have been coming in. What I've been having trouble with. So fill that with that expander foam and that should block them off. So yeah, someday I know it don't look like much, but never get the back addition done. This eventually is where I want my uh, some of my computer stuff or kind of it was a little hideout but years ago after we took the addition off you, you can see the water stains here on the wall there there Oops. that's where water was shooting out into this room hot water heater used to be right here I moved it to the high side of the basement so but anyway yep we're just waiting on that to drain I was going to change the whole house filter Come on. There you go. So we're going to change that. I cannot get it loose. And if I do, I'll probably break it. And I ain't got a new one. So that'll be tomorrow's or next day's project. So, okay. Oh, that's what I was going to say with this. At least the water, the drain works. That whole house water filter must be doing its job because it used to be every time I went to work on one of these hot water heaters, it was full of lime. And I couldn't get nothing done, so. Alright. Well, I definitely think we found the problem. What do you guys think? Huh. Alrighty. Might be full of lime after all. Damn it. Okay. There you go. I knocked some of it off on the... <laughs> Excuse me, floor. There was the bottom. It's always the bottom ones. <laughs> so, trying to get it filled back up now, and then I'll turn it on, and we should be good to go again for now. Uh, not too bad of a mess. Almost filled the hole up. Well, I guess. Huh, that's not the one I... Oh, I've got a... Crescent wrench I found like this once. It said rigid. You think I can find it? Huh. Well, since I got them, I'll take those up. Oh, and I did find my big buck knife, guys. <laughs> I was telling my bibs, went through the washer. So, yeah, found that. Alright. Yep, I got done with the hot water heater. Neighbors want to help me get my mower tires pumped up. They were flat because I don't have an air compressor here that I can use. And uh, yeah, 
it won't start. <laughs> neither, neither one of us got jumper cables. And but this is what the weather's turning to again. It cleared off there for a little bit, like okay, like it's gonna miss us, and now it's back. So I want to run out the farm, get my jumper cables and my air pig, and then uh, head back to town. And hopefully get that thing going and push a little snow before it gets too deep that I can't push it. But, alrighty. I don't know if it's going to show up very good, but since we left here earlier, I was around 11 or noon, and here it is, full motor clock. Got a three foot snow drift there. <coughs> the driveway was almost a challenge to get in. I gotta move that ice, so, okay. Holy moly, it's cold. It's minus two. I'm out pushing the snow, look at my beard. Holy crap. I don't know what my legs are like. They just started hurting. Holy. Oh, it took forever to get that damn lawnmower of mine going. Uh, two flat tires. Didn't want to start. Had to jump it. Oh. Wow. So I'm jumping the Tahoe here, warm up a little bit. I got my front sight walk to go. And, uh, I tell you, somehow or another, I'm gonna, if I'm staying in this house, I am either fixing that garage so it's heated and insulated, which that could be a project this summer. If the city will let me, I'm gonna raise that, jack that building up two foot up above, tear out the slab that's there, pour a new slab underneath it, and uh, raise it because I raised this backyard so now the water net runs into that garage. Raise that and set it back down or go ahead and just leave it two foot taller and just re-extend the walls inside and uh, rebuild that damn thing, get her fixed up and that way I can, the duplicate tools, I could bring in the town and have stuff here at the house. Holy crud. I know, I know, it's a pop. Mm, sorry. I was just dying for one today. And out of all the kinds to choose today, I picked a, what the hell is it, Mr. Pib. So, well, I get warmed up, maybe I'll try with my mower, it's a two-handed operation. You gotta steer and lift the lever. Uh, when I go out the front, I'll see if we can uh, do a little pushing on the mower, uh, uh, rider. And the hot water heater's hot. So that's fixed. A lot of these little nitpicky jobs that have been nagging at me are getting done. The mower, usually by now this winter, that thing had been used so much, it wouldn't that be dead. But boy, when the oil light was flashing, she just didn't want to go. But then, oh, ooh, warmed up a degree. It's minus one now. And then I found that big hole and uh, got that expanded foam shut the neighbor had a can of that stuff so maybe it'll slow down the damn mice we've been having fighting mice and we couldn't figure out where they're coming in well, i think i just found them because like i said they had the insulation packed down so that was their runway so and then my wife texted me while i've been out doing this damn mice chewed through one of the tupperware i'm like really so I can tell, I can imagine what she's like right now. She's probably fit to be tied. What the hell, I had a message. Oh, this damn phone. But, all right, I'm gonna thaw out, then we'll hit the rest, and I'm letting the mower run because I overfilled the gas tank, so I gotta get it down, because otherwise, when it warms up, it'll ooze out, so. So, all right. Wow, that's freaking cold. Well, um, finally done. It's 7.40. I haven't been outside this whole time. There was a potato bake at the church that we went up to. I'm glad I didn't have the wife cut the hair this weekend. I was thinking about it. If it was nice, I was going to cut her off. Shorten it up to when I look decent. <laughs> but I am froze. Got the house here cleaned out. Went up. Went to clean in front of my building. And I just cleaned that whole sidewalk, pushed it all out in the street the guy hadn't been by with the city yet. 
So that made his job easier. <sighs> but anyway, so yeah, this cold and snow can fly away. But, uh, well, we're done for the day, so we had a pretty protective day. Went out the farm, put some more stuff away, took care of the animals, come home, ended up taking a nap, then uh, fixing the hot water heater, and then spent uh, an hour or two trying to get my mower going with the blade. Battery's dead, didn't want to start. One tire took air, the other one we had to tear off the damn mower to, uh, and put a ratchet strap around it to get it to finally take air. I'm like, really? Come on. But anyway, so. Now we're in the house for the night. We're done. And oh, we took the neighbor's uh, supper tonight. Little old lady and her daughter across the street. Uh, we were, uh, like I said, we were at the potato bacon. The wife says, we should take them something. I said, okay, so we did. Went to drop it off first time they weren't there, so we went and got a pop for the kids and wife and come back and I seen them pull up. I said, they're there now. So, makes me feel good there because uh, well, they both, they called and said thank you very much as they were going to go get something to eat. She doesn't keep much food on hand over there, I know. And she, she, she was planning on not eating tonight and she told her daughter, well, you find well, she didn't know we stopped and dropped that off at the daughter. And just tickled. So, yes, got to reach out once in a while. So, well, everybody, wife's doing better. She's getting up and moving around. And uh, if it wasn't so cold, it would be easier for her to breathe outside. But she's been wearing the mask and that and get, bubbling up real well. So, but she hasn't been outside much. But. Well, guys, if it's snowing, stay in where it's safe and warm, and uh, take care. And we're all, uh, well, I, we got to help one another. So, all right, guys and gals, and all, thank you for the subscriptions and comments and everything. So, all right, talk to you guys later. Bye.